My name is Matthew Reese and I'm the supervising senior animator in Ardman's CGI department. Ardman uses CGI really for all aspects of, of what we do. We've used CGI in our features, short films, as well as um, many apps that we make in our uh, digital department. The process for, for creating any animated content is kind of the same as you would have in stop frame and, and 2D. The initial um, storyboard and script writing stage is obviously the same. Sometimes have a phase called previs, which is where we pre-visualize the, the work in a kind of rough um, 3D world. Uh, simultaneously, the uh, characters are modeled on, on the computer and textured. Then uh, they're rigged, uh, which is basically putting a skeleton inside the character, which can then be uh, manipulated by the animator. Then we move into animation, which once the animation is, is approved, then we, we move into lighting, where the characters are lit and made to look all, all pretty. And then finally, it's the compositing stage, where everything comes together. It's not essentially is the final image that you guys see on screen. So there's no kind of limit really of what uh, we can do and it kind of comes into its own to an extent when you have to do volume in terms of crowds and, and anything uh, large worldly stuff. CG is easier um, to do that way as opposed to stop frame where you'd have to some animator will have to animate dozens of characters at the same time. We can do that much more or much more easily in CG. This here is the, the default head. And what the modeler will then do is, is make dozens of extra heads um, with the mouth posed in, in all the various shapes it needs to get into. You can have um, you know the mouth down, the mouth up. We have snarls. If I zoom in on this character, then hopefully if I pick his eyebrow controls and move them up and down, you can see on the character his eyebrows come up and down. I mean, this is a reasonably um, simple facial rig compared to feature film stuff, but it, it, it enables us to get pretty much any uh, mouth expression we need when we do lip sync shots or any kind of acting shots. What CG can do is really give you the ability to go in and really manipulate on a really subtle level um, how characters um, perform facially. Essentially CG has stayed the same over the years. It's, it's the, the kind of technology that has um, improved a traditionally difficult things to do like liquids and fur and, and cloth. Um, they're still difficult to do but it's, it's more manageable these days the way um, computers have got faster. I enjoy them all actually and, and the ones I enjoy the most are the ones that got some kind of emotional depth so we did a, a project for the Imperial War Museum a couple of years ago which is even when I watch it now it, it kind of makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up so um, I have no particular favourite but um, I enjoy them all in their own little way.